Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on November the 13th, 2014. Yes, it is. Uh, Thursday today. A real quick video about uh, Playcade and an update on the installs and the boot-ups and the rough ARPU, average revenue per user. I was just going through the chart boost screens here, the statistics, and I thought it would be interesting to talk about this on video real quick as well. Uh, but first, hello to Odell. I think it was Odell. Uh, he posted on the forum and said, uh, could you give me a shout out on one of the videos? So, uh, hey, Odell, good to chat to you on the forum. Thanks for all the support and uh, the watching the videos and so on. And it's great to catch up with developers. So, you know, um, cool. I hope to chat to you more. Anyway, uh, let's just go to the screen now. So this is for Playcade. I've spoken about this a few times. Uh, in the past couple of videos and the reason is that I'm talking about it more and more is because it's a focus of ours now. We're focusing on two main games at the moment which is Playcade and Sniper XXX. Uh, I'm watching these games closer now um, so I'm, we're not building loads of small games anymore uh, at least not at the moment and the reason is because it's um, that business model is is becoming harder and harder making small quick single player games which don't retain the user make very low revenue it's hard to get downloads for them and it's hard to market them as well uh, and this way we're able to market uh, focus our marketing on two games and focus our marketing time on two games update it clearly check the statistics track what the user is doing in the game and then really learn what is working and not working uh, when we do an update. So so it's good that I've got more time to focus on a single game here, okay? Um, so it's Playcade. All right, so let's just jump into um, Chart Boost. I'll just do a quick refresh. Maybe it will update a little bit. And what I'm just looking at is the installs and the boot-ups. So that's how many times the game was opened uh, in in the given time frame. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because yesterday we uh, it went live, or this past two days it went live on iOS, Google, and Amazon with a new update, which included uh, Cade Coins. Cade Coins is the in-game currency, and what it does is players can unlock games with Cade Coins. So they play the other games which are free to play. They don't have to unlock them. They collect Cade Coins, and that allows them to unlock future games. <coughs> Right now in this model, uh, in this version, we don't have the future games, uh, sorry, the unlockable games. All of them are free right now, but we're working on the current uh, game, which is going to be unlockable at the moment. So the only thing we updated is Cade Coins, and that went live the other day. Um, at the moment, we're getting around, uh, I think it was released here on this day or this day. Uh, this is the Google Play version. Uh, the problem is with the Google Play version is at the moment, we don't have a lot of installs at all. I mean, you can see like there's four, five, five, six. So it's really not a good uh, measure of how many sessions are being played, how many boot ups. You can see here in chart boost, I've highlighted the boot ups, which is this larger uh, chart here. Um, so I'm not really going to look at this one much until we get more installs. The second reason is that we usually test the Google Play version. So a lot of these sessions here would be from me and the developer testing the game. So again, it's not really a good measurement. Uh, but let's take a look at the... Da, da, da. I'm just going to type it in here. Uh, thanks for the tip, Nick. I'm, I'm actually typing the name now, which helps, which makes it a lot faster to find the games in Chartboost. Uh, let's check the iOS version. This is the one that went live yesterday that had the Cade, coin, Cade coins added. And it looks like there's a good increase there. This is the, the boot ups at this top, and this is the installs. So the day before, uh, it made $6.09, and it had 12 installs and 29 boot ups. The day after, which was the 12th of November, uh, made less revenue, which is normal. Revenue goes up and down all the time. Uh, but the thing that I was looking at was the nine installs and 38 boot ups. So even though there's less installs, it was opened more times. Now that could be uh, just a, a, a sort of a variance in the, you know, there's a natural uh, up and down to the, you know, to the curves. And maybe it's just that day people just happen to open the game a little bit more. So there's not much statistics here to really show it. And since it was only released on this day, uh, it really doesn't give us like a long time perspective of, of whether this is just a fluke or whether it's actually working. 
uh, whether the update and the Cade coins in the game is actually working. Uh, but let's just check it, uh, Amazon. So there's nothing conclusive in this video, guys. There's nothing to say, yes, this works, or no, that doesn't work. It's just I wanted to share how I look at the statistics at the moment, day to day, you know, just to give you an idea. Uh, the best looking chart at the moment is this one. This is Playcade Amazon. So here at the bottom is the number of installs. This is the boot ups, okay? Now we don't often test the Google, uh, the Amazon version while we're uh, doing pre-release testing. So this is mostly players. This is actual players on Amazon who seem to enjoy it a lot more uh, by the looks of it. So there's 124 installs, 627 uh, boot ups on that day made $2. So that was around, I think that's what, five or it's about five times the amount. So five times, uh, sorry, five times the number of boot ups to install, which is good. Um, and yesterday, this was before the release, I think, 77 installs, 413 boot ups, and it made $4.56 in chart boost. That's, that's only in chart boost, not in Amazon ads. Uh, so that's roughly a five times amount. And then yesterday, it went higher. Um, so that could be just maybe on this day, on the 12th of, of, of November, people had more time to play, but it also could mean that the new update with the Cade coins, um, which is what people are now trying to collect in the game, might be making the game more uh, interesting and it might be retaining the player for longer because now they have a goal. So it could be that as well, um, because we've seen this on iOS. On Google, we don't really have conclusive you know, charts or anything. Uh, but the interesting one here was it's 58 installs and 436 boot ups, which is bigger than the day before. So here there was 77 more. There was more installs, but less boot ups. Here there was less installs, but more boot ups. Yeah. So I think that's what uh, I'm trying to figure this out. Maybe seven or eight times. Uh, is that right? Yeah. I think about eight times the the number of boot ups to um, uh, to installs, and it made eight dollars thirty four, which is really good. Uh, they're still small games; there are only seven games in Playcade at the moment. Uh, so, uh, it, like I said, there's nothing conclusive in this video. There's nothing to say yes, this works, or no, this this uh, approach to games is is not working. But all I wanted to do is just share with you guys what I'm looking at at the moment for Playcade and what I'm watching. Because as I've mentioned a few times, like four or five weeks ago, whenever we started Playcade and Sniper XXX, we are now focusing on um, uh, two games. And we're not building a lot of small games. Like before, we were building one game every uh, six or seven days it was taken. Uh, but now we're focusing on one single game file, one APK or one IPA file, and just adding lots of games into that content. And so far, it looks like it's trending better. Uh, according to Amazon and according to iOS, uh, but it's not conclusive, of course. You know, we need more installs and, and a longer time frame to really know if this is working or not. Um, but what I do is I'm tracking the, uh, roughly, I'm sort of tracking when we do the, the new versions, when we submit them, when they go live, and then I take a look in Chart Boost uh, to see how many boot ups and how many installs and how much revenue we're making. Um, but so yeah, anyway, let me know guys if this is what you do. Do you Are you having the same approach as me at the moment uh, as us uh, in that you're uh, focusing on uh, less games now but with deeper content and deeper a deeper user experience or are you focusing on very large games or are you focusing on the small games that only take you know a week or something like that? Uh, and do you watch the statistics? Uh, I can't say it. <laughs> do you watch the statistics like I do? or if there's some things that you think I should be watching. So uh, let me know what you think about the video anyway, guys. Uh, please check out Playcade on uh, Android, Amazon, and iOS. This is the current logo. Uh, it might change later because we're testing logos, uh, but there's a bunch of the games anyway. But please download it, guys, and rate it for us. That just helps us, supports us so, so much. Thank you. Please let me know if you do. Uh, and please like and subscribe this video. You know, tap the like button. That always helps. And I'm going to speak to everyone soon. And Odell, again, thanks for commenting on the forum. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.